crossing over to Sudan, protest leaders on Wednesday accused the generals of trying to delay the transition from power to civilian life and threatened to launch a national uh, movement of disobedience. Now, the development follows the demands by Sudan's military rulers on Tuesday that the constitution of the interim government be guided by Sharia law, though the generals agreed generally on the proposed structure. But they said the document received has omitted the sources of legislation. Transitional Military Council spokesperson Lieutenant General Shams Eldin Kabash revealed that the council is of the view that Islamic Sharia and the local norms and traditions in the Republic of Sudan should be the sources of legislation. The next one.